Hi, this is Thunder E from BorderWorld.com and welcome to our unboxing of the Sprint Galaxy Nexus. So here is our Sprint Galaxy Nexus packaging uh, from Sprint, white packaging similar to what we had with the Galaxy Nexus Verizon, except it's a longer box. You can see it's actually much lengthier uh, in size. And um, you see, yes, it's Google and Samsung behind Sprint logo around. This is a 4G LTE device, so the 4G LTE networks are not available now in Sprint. But let's go ahead, open it up. You can see there it says Google underneath. We do have our Galaxy Nexus here. Put that aside. Um, open this up. What else do we have in the package in here? We have our Get Started Gate. We also have our adapter here on this side. Don't know why they couldn't add it in here or something. Uh, you know, just wondering. Just wondering. Um, extra space for absolutely nothing. But hey, you're trying to give us a bigger box, so be it. Of course. We do have our get started guide here. What else in here? Some warranty material, different languages, and of course, recycle, which Sprint does. You have a uh, mini USB to USB. And of course, our Samsung headphones that we're given with this, which we don't really use. All right, so let's throw this in. This is a review in it from um, Samsung. So we are going to check this out. Let's actually uh, take this off and look at the device. So take off the back cover here and take off the front. It says Galaxy Nexus. And we can chuck all this in there and move this aside. So, as you know, the Galaxy Nexus is, is a 4.6 inch. Just bring this closer here for you guys so you guys can take a good look. 4.6 inch, uh, 4.6 five inch um, smartphone. It's got um, HD display, it's got a 1.2 dual core processor. Android 4.0, you know that's built. Design-wise, uh, very similar. Of course, you do have your um, volume rockers here on the left-hand side. Sprint logo, Samsung. Doesn't say Galaxy Nexus at the back as you have with um, the Verizon one. Of course, the battery is behind here. Got your car dock, headphone jack, mini USB port. Uh, that's pretty much it. 1.3 front-facing camera, 5 megapixel camera at the back. Now, compared to the Verizon version, Sprint, remember that's it, this is the Verizon, pretty much the same device in look and feel, weight, only difference here is that you see the trim here on the side, it's all um, grayish if you will, this has a black finish at the side, so you can see that there, Sprint, Verizon, uh, black, dark gray finish. Both are the same here behind. Sorry, I did I made a mistake. It doesn't say Galaxy Nexus is behind either here. So all similar. Says Sprint says Verizon. Says 4G LTE here. It doesn't say that on the Sprint version. But we expect this to be 4G LTE compatible. So uh, design wise, look wise, the same. Um, in terms of depth, also looks the same, feels the same. Uh, as in weight, this feels just a tad bit heavier. I don't know why. The Sprint version feels a tad bit heavier, but I could just be hallucinating at this point in time. So anyway, let's go ahead and power on the device. So we have Google. Do remember the Galaxy Nexus does take some time to kick things up, but it's loading. Give you the full view we're not going to cut it i'm just actually going to go through power through this whole thing and um you know give you a nice taste of the galaxy nexus on sprint oh that's pretty quick all right so there's no service right now so you, see, you do have the camera or you can go to unlock you also do the facial unlock if you want to of course we're going to throw in our favorite anime backgrounds in here so not to worry uh so far looks very similar you can see if you go into the settings here Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, all the way about phone. There you go, system, under 4.0.4. You guys can see that clearly. There we go. 
bring this out a little bit more so that's all in check multiple home screens you can see uh, if we go into our camera here camera layout's the same do have the camera settings here which you can do all those different modes um, so we'll, we'll take some in-depth look into it and see how well it works so right now it says if you see that clearly it says 3G at the very top uh, bring that in a little closer uh, no 4G, this is no 4G here in the Boston area anyway bring it down it says Sprint um, otherwise it's your typical Galaxy Nexus applications that are different yeah 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 we know that uh, none actually this no uh, oh yes there is Google Wallet which we have here for the first time so we'll, we'll take a look at that as you know in the Verizon version if we show you here quickly There is no Google Wallet on the Verizon version. This is the Verizon version here. So anyway, we have Google Wallet. We can set it up. Um, we'll use it, try and use it and see how well it works and all that fun stuff. Otherwise, this is the Galaxy Nexus from um, uh, on Sprint, uh, very similar to its cousin on Verizon. If you guys have any questions or any comments, let us know. Don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on Twitter, Facebook, uh, YouTube, Empire Avenue, the whole lot. As well as subscribe to Board Fam and her channel, as well as the Twitter page. All the links are down below. So this is Thundy saying thank you. And uh, always enjoy your entertainment. <laughs> Sorry, always enjoy your entertainment.